because I'm sitting in the background now and she's in the foreground. It's just, I have no control. I don't know what to do. I'm starting to take the control back. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you a little bit more detail about the Shen learning rubric and the impact that it could have on your grades in Infinite Campus. And we're also going to show you how to add a rubric in Infinite Campus. One thing you want to keep in mind is that you set up your grade book the way you normally have every year. You don't have to do anything special to set it up to use the marks in the rubric. Okay, and what he means by that is grade calc options are still in progress, numeric, and you are going to weigh categories. So when you want to insert an assignment to use the Shen learning rubric, as we stated in a previous video, you just go through and name the assignment. Okay. And what we're going to do now is actually give it some points. In the first video that we did, we put the total points out of five. So you can weight assignments differently by giving them different point values. So even though you're going to use the rubric to score students on a one to five scale, the assignment still could be worth 10 points or it could be worth 100 points. 100 point assignment obviously is going to count 10 times more than the 10 point assignment, even using the scoring rubric. So, and there's really two different ways you can do this. You can put the total points in. For example, if I want the assignment to be out of 20 points, I could do that here. Or you could make the assignment out of five points and use a multiplier of four. It's still going to give you 20 points. Do you have any suggestions on that? I try to keep things uh, simple, you know, kiss. And so I would just use total points rather than the multiplier, but um, both work equally valid. I think I'm going to agree with John on this one. Okay. Um, but right now I have it as points. If I was going to use the Shen learning rubric, I want to do marks and I want to select the Shen learning rubric. I want to keep in mind though, that you know that even though you've made the points out of 20 and you're using the Shen learning rubric in infinite campus, the kids are going to see, still see a uh, one, two, three, four, or five. The only thing that will impact this is their in progress grade. So what it's going to do when you score the students for this assignment is it's going to take that value you give them on the rubric, 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, and give them a percentage of that 20 points that's equal to the level in that learning rubric. So a 4 is 94%. So they get 94% of 20 points. And because I'm a math teacher and I love percentages, so we'll take 94% if they got a 4 of 20 points, and they will have gotten 18.8 points on that assignment. And that will add in towards their total points average for that category or that uh, grade book. So right now, when you go to score this assignment, you either have, you have not yet learned all the way up to a five. And there's really no rubric here. Uh, we're going to show you how to add a rubric if you would like to. Right here, you see scoring rubric. Okay, we're going to add one. And the screen that pops up will look like this. Okay. Um, I have my rubric name here. I think I would change it. I'm going to use the seventh grade uh, science one that I found online as a model. Um, I'm just going to call this one level of learning. You know that you're going to be able to reuse this rubric after you put it in once. So you, if it's a generic rubric, name it very generic. Don't name it to the assignment. Okay. So now, um, the criteria name, I'm still going to, even though the name is level of learning, I'm going to keep it that way. And all I'm really going to do is come in and copy and paste my rubric into Infinite Campus. What this is going to do differently for you is when you go into that scoring screen we were in a second ago, you're going to be able to see these components of the rubric rather than just being able to give them the value 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you're at the point where you've got the rubric already memorized and you don't need these indicators, you don't really have to make it, but it, it's always nice to have it there um, so you can refer back to it. Now that she's done with the rubric, she's going to save it. No, oh, she's almost done with the rubric. Once you've entered the rubric, you can hit the square button. In addition to the NYL through five scale, now you have student work showing here, and now there's a link to evaluate the rubric you will be able to click here. You can also find this rubric in the control center, locate the class where the assignment is, and find the score button. 
and you will find the um, assignment that you put in with the scoring rubric. I love how it's kind of alerted for you and you would be brought right to the rubric feature. When you come to score on the rubric, you can click on the descriptor. Now remember, this row is just your description of their assignment. Um, Doesn't actually put a score in the grade book. Yep, it's just clicking the major descriptors. If this rubric that you entered had more than one row, say it had four, for example, and we clicked a four and the rest were three, um, holistically, this person on this task would fall probably in the three category. Um, however, since this one only has one row, okay, we believe they fit this descriptor, so their task score will be a four. No, and unless you click below that black line in those empty boxes, it will not put a score in the gradebook for it from this screen here. You do have to click here. Uh, remember, you can put feedback in either one of these buttons, or you can put feedback up here. You can check turned in if you want or use some flags, but you can also just click through your gradebook. Um, I don't even think you have to save it, but we're going to find out real quick. Um, I'm going to close this. You have unsaved changes. Okay. I'm going to stay and hit save and hope that it's, it saved the last five grades that I just did. So I'm going to close out of this. It did. It did. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. So the answer when we said earlier, you have to hit save every time, the answer is no. You just have to hit save once before leaving that screen. Yes. All right, so now you need to know how to copy a rubric you've already done. So you need to be in your grade book. Now you need to copy the assignment that you've attached the rubric to so that you can use it in another assignment. So when you're in your grade book, you're gonna click on the name of the assignment. And then you're going to see that your rubric is attached down under scoring rubric. And then you can click copy down here and give it a new name. And then you'll go through and reset all of the other choices, including how, which classes you want to assign to and then the total points for the assignment. That way you can use the same rubric again without having to retype it in. Any help with the Shen Learning rubric and Infinite Campus, let us know. I do want to add one more thing. This rubric feature isn't just for the marks in the Shen Learning rubric. You can also use points and insert your own rubric. Again, if you have would like to find out more about this feature, please let us know.